Good day, guys. Austin here. And in this one today, we're taking another look at Grip. I switched this about a year ago. It was in early access. And, well, it's a year later and it's still in early access. So God knows what's going on there. However, apparently it's just been updated. Some good things have been featured. And I've heard good things. So I thought I'd see for myself and bring you along to join it with me. Anyway, first things first, I have to get to the bugbears. I've turned everything on in settings, everything's on maximum, I won't bore you with that kind of stuff. It should run, it was well optimised last time, but the menus, guys. I'm obviously going to control this with my control pad, um, that's fine. But the menus, it says that I have to use my mouse and keyboard. Come on, it's been a year, you said you were going to do that before. I'm no developer, but it's the little things, guys, little things. I have to stand up from my couch, choose the map, then go sit down, back down on my couch to play it on my big TV with my controller. Pain in the ass, especially with friends. Which brings me to my next problem, multiplayer. Ugh. You've got the split screen, which is awesome. That's how I'd like my multiplayer to go. However, not everybody has got their friends around 24-7, which means that I'd like to go online. A thing and a feature that was promised to us in the last incarnation. Incarnation? I'm now talking like that. Yeah, it was probably to us last time, and it's been a year later, so there's still no progress on that. But, I'm nitpicking. Anyway, I've got no idea what this is like. Campaigns blacked out, so God knows what's going on there. Play stats, yeah. I've made a, a vehicle, now you can change your vehicle around a little bit. Again, I'm not going to bore you with that. It's all cosmetic. Nothing to do with the actual, I don't know, like throttle, braking, handling, all that kind of stuff. It all seems to be generic throughout whatever class or vehicle you build. Anyway, I bore you, don't I? Uh, ultimate race, it sounds awesome. Number of laps two, yeah, don't want to bore you too much. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Transport, normal, whatever. I've got no idea what that means. Yeah, so last time I played this, it was good. It was very good. I had high bars for this. Uh, I haven't touched it since, which may be a warning light to somebody. I believe it's now 11.99 on Steam. Still pretty high, considering it's still in early access and a year old at that. I've seen AAA titles going for less than that a year later, so yeah, buyer beware, but the game was awesome, so I'll give it that one. Come on, let's go, let's ride! Well, it's a lot crisper looking, I'll give it that one. Uh, everything is on maximum, it was well optimised last time, so I'm expecting no change from there. The speed is good, I like it. Uh, I did play this map last time. It has been a year since I've touched it, so don't expect much from me here, guys. Not that I'm any good. Oh, I've got a weapon, I think. For two. I've got a shield. And I've got a gun. Blast the mass. Ah, oh, what? This one spun me out. So, yeah, it was a play on... Uh, what's it called? Roll Cage. A game from the PlayStation 1. The developers from that... Um, they remade it for the PC and a good idea it was because I love that game on the PlayStation 1 it was awesome oh, Jesus wept come on bring me back um, for those of you who didn't touch that or the previous incarnation of this game that itself was kind of Wipeout-esque as you can see here except instead of spaceships floating from one side to the other you've got vehicles now the thing that I would say from that game and something which followed last time into this game was the fact that it had a huge sense of speed and you were always on the edge of your seat. Whoa, that was good. You was always on the, oh, what? The edge of your seat to feel like you were handling it. From me touching this, what, one lap in, if that, um, they've dumbed it down. They've dumbed down the steering. Before, if I was to twitch from one side to the other, it would have, I wouldn't say it was simulation like, but it would have the characteristics of traction on my car. And so if I was to make big movements from one direction to the other, I would lose traction and spin off control, whatever, blah, 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 as you probably would. I'm sure we've all played racing games before. Let's boost. Ooh. That seems to have disappeared. I have now got almost arcadey traction. Um, which is good because you know no one's come here to play Gran Turismo but it's also has it done it too much look I, I think it has it's almost like I'm not driving this anymore I'm just heading for oh my god I've had some thing EMP blast was that yeah it's almost like 
Arkham first. Awesome. First game, first track. Boom. Everything I just said, negative. Dismiss. It's an awesome game. Awesome game forever. And I implore you all to go out and buy it straight away so you can get as good as me at playing games like this. <laughs> <laughs> but but no no ignore that it's it's the same it's been polished it's had some spit and polish on it um, of course I've only just played one lap so we can't really judge it too much but I mean in terms of the controls they've nerfed it um, obviously I can drive from left to right obviously I can drive around the track however it seems like I'm only aiming to kill people dodge things or pick things up instead of actually driving the track as you would in a racing game um, I can't use the controller I keep forgetting uh, okay where should we go next let's go back way back to Athetra Waste whatever this is sounds awesome I think I played this one previously as well we need to do some new maps um, so yeah they nerfed the racing is it a good thing I don't know I can't really comment. Let, let's look at this factually, guys. I had this. I bought it. It wasn't given it. It wasn't a, a preview copy or anything. I actually purchased it. I can't remember how much I spent, but it wouldn't have been much different from the 11.99 that it's on sale for now. And that was a year ago. Now I was, I was loving it back then. I still am now, kinda. But 11.99 for a year-old game, which is still in early access. And they haven't even implemented uh, controller options in the screen. I'm being highly critical here, but this is what I've got to look at. I think how many AAA titles from a year ago I can buy now for 11.99. Probably none. Look at that now. <laughs> Whoa! See, that's more like it. That's the excitement I want. Obviously, I don't want to get knocked out. Ah! But I want the mayhem I want the excitement I don't want to be nerfed while I'm going around the track in you know it's an auto drive near enough all I'm doing is trying to head for these little green things that somebody just beat you to yeah I'm being highly critical but I like the speed the graphics smooth as butter I can't put anything past that I have played this map before oh, these mines are really annoying though guys obviously you can see them from a mile off but sometimes you can't and avoid them and I think there's too many mines it, it kind of you get hit by them and there's nothing you can do it just stops you at a hole <sighs> weapons are pretty much the same as they were last time but I think we need to nerf the mines if anything someone just shot my ass didn't they <laughs> yeah this map's been on here before but it is a lot more polished than what it was before I've got no idea what rank I am is that uh, R N K meaning rank at the top, meaning that I'm tenth of tenth now seventh. I don't know. I thought that last time they ended up being first. Oh, someone keeps on getting all my power ups. Oh, and I hate that EMP blast thing as well. It's highly annoying. Oh, come on. Ah, oh. but. Yeah, graphics are good. There's not much change. I can now customize my vehicle, like I said. But in terms of, you know, characteristics rather than actual speed and handling, that would be good. Again, like the wipeout adds to us. I'm probably bringing... Oh, see, I've got two mines there. I'm not into using mines. I want more aggressive ones. I want rockets. I want boosts more than anything. I think that would bring more excitement to the game. The, on the last incarnation, I did show the developer my video. I also gave him my points. Probably not listened to. By who am I to say anything about all this? Racing isn't my game, but I, I'm a fan of it casually, just like many genres out there. But I don't think a game like this is something that you would play every day relentlessly anyway. It's kind of like Wipeout was back in the day, where you get involved with it for a few days, you master that bitch and you take it all the way to the limit and then every now and again you go on and bringing that online functionality would push that further because you could compete against more people you could get better and better and probably build up more of a community in this but it's 11.99 right now right one more I'm being very very negative aren't I how do I get out of here 
Yeah, 11.99. And considering I was probably made up in terms of handling and control on the last incarnation more than what I'm feeling on this one, I would have been more inclined to probably press play more, and I didn't in an entire year. Um, I don't know. Oh, come on. How do I get past... I'm going to have to quit the game to go back to the menu. How bad is that? Otherwise, you have to wait for a big, massive replay to happen. Because there's no campaign, there's no point in waiting because I've got nothing to save or anything anyway. Oh, oh, and now I can't use my controller to do the menu. How annoying. Okay, let's pick something I haven't done before. Let's go push it to the limit. Speedball sounds boring. Early work in progress. That sounds interesting. Oh, have I done an outpost before? I don't know. Let's do work in progress because I know I've obviously never done that before. Okay, one last try, Grip. One last try. So yeah, it's got a heritage, this game. It was made by the developers of Roll Cage, as they say. Um, a classic from the PlayStation 1. That had all the essentials in play in this. Um, it feels like it's took too much away from that and now turned it too much into a arcade racer. It depends on what you come... This track is from earlier. Uh, yeah, 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 whatever. It depends on where you come to play this game. For me, I would play it because I love Roll Cage. And that's why I probably liked the first version of this so much better because the the controls, the the maps, the gameplay, it was a lot more on the edge of your seat. Like every twist and turn was going to knock you out. And when you did make that little twist or turn and it came off, you felt rewarded that you felt like yeah, I just made it around that map. It's like when you play Wipeout. For the first few games, you're probably going to crash and burn and literally die before you finish the map. Now, I'm literally just pressing the accelerator, never taking my finger off the trigger. Just accelerating all the time and pointing my vehicle in some general direction, which I hope is the way to go. And let's face it, it's not exactly rocket science. But... With Wipeout, with Roll Cage, you had to master those tracks. You had to find what your vehicle handled like. You had to be on the edge. You had to sweep around the corners. You had to literally learn the game from the inside out. And I'm not saying that game should be that way. Of course, there should be some pick up and playability for them. And let's face it, Wipeout wasn't that hard. But it did have a, an aura of being able to master it. I'm just pressing the accelerator and driving forward. For me, it's been nerfed too much. And that's kind of changed the whole way the game plays. I've been highly critical on this game. Sorry, guys. Sorry, developers. By no means is this a review, guys, at all. This is the first time I've picked this up, literally within the year, like I said. I have played it before. I like the previous version more. Even though it had less options, not that much of less options, there had a couple less cars to pick. Even though they don't, the cars don't do anything anyway. Um, less tracks, although as you can see, it's not as I could bring in much to the party. Things do look a bit more polished. I've got two mines again. Yay! Deploy them because uh, I feel horrible actually using them. I'd rather discharge them rather than utilize. Ah, I've got a boost at last. Let's see if I can get on the straight and boost. See, sense of speed. Right now, I should be literally on the edge of my seat. Excuse my language, but shit in my pants. Because I've just boosted myself into the next dimension. But instead, <laughs> I've just got my finger on the trigger and I'm pressing left to right. Oh, at last, excitement. Somebody t nudged me. Come on. Come on. It, developers, my point of view, again, nothing finished and not a professional reviewer at all but how did I get first <laughs> developers it's an awesome game you should do nothing to it you shouldn't change it at all you've done an awesome job so far no no if you change the the vehicle dynamics in terms of the physics and the way it handles I think you need to unnerf it a little bit I think you need to give it a bit of an edge the speed and everything is about right. But you feel that you need to have that speed. When you're going top whack, 
hurtling down whatever street you're going down. You need to feel that if you touch it in either direction too much, you're gonna lose it. You need to earn your speed. <laughs> listen to me. Like I'm so professional in all this. Well, don't even listen to me. This has been me playing this for the first time in a year. It's 11.99. Buy it if you want. But for me, I'm probably going to wait for the next update and see what that brings. Anyway, guys, it's been a pleasure as always. Please like, please subscribe. Please do all the things that people who make futuristic racing games do, except nerf your steering. But most of all, most of all, you have a good day. Latest!